Welcome to Classic Value Investors and Microcap Explosions. This is Marius Skoniecny. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I just missed a 30x on this investment. Millennium Investment and Acquisition Company with a ticker symbol of MILC. Now, I was looking at this company literally right here. Uh, it was, it's, it's not correctly here, but it was around May. Actually, it reached 25 cents, okay? 25 cents. And as you can see, today it's at eight bucks. So eight bucks, that's a 32X. And like, I mean, you, you can tell me that I'm making this up, but I'm not making this up. I was literally going to put $100,000 into it at 25 cents. And that 100000 would have been worth $3 million today. Now, though those kinds of opportunities hurt the most when you experience them. And I'm making this video because this is exactly what you are missing if you are not looking at microcap stocks. This is what you're missing. These kinds of opportunities you are missing. So how did I find this opportunity? I found it by going through thousands of companies on OTC markets. And I found this Millennium Investment and Acquisition Corp. And here's the presentation that's no longer available on the website, uh, but it was available back then. Uh, so remember, the stock was trading, you know, 40 cents, 25 cents, something like that. And this was the presentation. Have a look. Okay. They had it for a long time, Millennium Investment Acquisition Corporation with the ticker symbol of this. And the thesis back then was that the company had uh, you know, a market cap of about 12 million. But then again, this, is, this, this might not be, this is not completely correct because this is at the time of the presentation. But they laid it out in this presentation, they laid it out how the stock was trading at a 64% discount to NAV, okay? Because it had three assets. It had an activated carbon located in Hawaii. It had a SMS Global. It was like an Indian financial firm, and they had uh, like a big position in that firm. This, this firm wasn't public, but they, had, uh, they, they, they were liquidating this position. So this company was actually uh, rebuying shares from them. And then they had close to $3 million of cash in the bank, right? So the cash in the bank was $26 per share. And know that. And the stock was trading about that. So you were getting this for free and you were getting this for free, okay? And if we go down to the Millennium Carbon, I'm not going to talk too much about it because it was like, whatever. I, I'm just not going to get into this. But I just want to show you uh, how they had how they were talking about the value they had it like in the conclusion right so they they showed you in this freaking presentation how it was cash it was this much per share then the current liabilities then they had that a car carbon whatever which was worth about dollar 60 per share and then they had the the interest in that Indian uh, brokerage company, which was $1.28 per share. So they were talking, they laid it out to everybody that the value or net asset value of this company was $3 per share while it was trading at like 25 cents. Okay. Now, this is why I was going to buy, uh, you know, $100,000 worth of it. I didn't have the liquidity at that point. Um, and I even... Uh, you know, did my research, talk with David Lesser on the phone a, a couple times, and I just, you know, thought that other opportunities were better. And but the point that I'm trying to make about this is that people think that micro caps are risky, okay? Risky, and this this opportunity was pretty much risk free. There was zero zero risk. Okay, because they had so much cash in the bank, they had the investment in that 
Indian firm that was way more than the stock price was trading for. So it was zero risk. Barely anybody was looking at it. The company wasn't marketing it and anything. And so there was absolutely zero risk. And zero risk, and you had the opportunity to make 30 times your money, where are you going to find these opportunities? Only in the microcap space. Now, so what happened? What happened that caused the stock price to take off recently? And and it's because they got involved in you know marijuana, pot, whatever. And I stopped following it. And to be fair, I probably wasn't going to get involved because I don't get involved in pot or anything like that. But this video is to demonstrate to you what you are missing if you are not looking at microcaps. You are missing opportunities that practically are zero risk sometimes, and they offer life-changing returns. So anyway, how many of you are out there who missed this opportunity too? I missed it. It's okay, you know, there, there's other ones. There's plenty of opportunities that I am invested in right now. They're gonna work out. Maybe not to this extent, but this is an absolutely unbelievable story. And I see Nay on uh, Nay Torres on Twitter talking about it. Hey, hey man, I'm with you. I missed it. I was watching it at 25 cents, didn't pull the trigger, and now it obviously hurts to see it at 30 times higher. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.